<clears throat> What's up, you gaggle of fucks? You fuck wagons. Get your fucking bitch ass punk asses in here. Drop whatever you're doing. I don't give a fuck if your wife's having a child and you're about to deliver it and it's coming out like the head's out and you're about to grab that fucking baby. You, see, you hear your phone going off and I'm streaming? Drop that fucking baby on the floor and get in the fuck in the stream, bitches. I don't give a fuck about that shit. You got plenty of time to hang out with that kid. What's up, bitches? Rocking some dead cells up in your mouth. Every time I hear dead cells, I think of like... Like your skin peeling off or something. Like getting a sunburn, you're just scraping some dead cells off your fucking arm and shit. That's what it always reminds me of. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower this volume because I don't give a fuck about the music in this game anyways. Let's get it going, bitches. So guys? Can you guys hear me alright? I mean, my glasses on because I'm an old ass motherfucker. I <coughs> can't even see anymore. <coughs> What's up, bitches? So glad the comments are working again. I don't know what the fuck was up with that nonsense. Hope you guys' bodies are ready for this slamathon. That's right, bitches. Volume's good. Cool. I'm not really that impressed with the music in this game, so I don't really need it, anyways. Music's alright, I guess. I don't know if you guys have played this game or not, man. This game is pretty fucking dope. I seen it had a physical release, so I traded in a few things. I traded in that shitty fucking Mario Maker on the 3DS. I get the fuck out of here. That was the biggest fucking bull. The only reason I bought it is to propose to Ani with it. Then I got rid of it. And then I traded in. Shinmu 1 and 2, and I can't remember what else I traded. I traded in one more thing. I can't fucking remember, but I made a wise choice, bitches, because this game is fucking awesome. <laughs> Sound Rob reminds me of an underground rapper. Not as way main, mainstream, but way better, man. I, I appreciate that, dude. I, that's what I try to be. I mean, that's, that's my goal. So if you guys think that, then that's goal achieved, bitches. So this game's pretty dope. This is like a... Sort of like a Metroidvania roguelike type of thing. It, it doesn't really have a lot of Metroidvania aspects, though. It's more like... This reminds me more of, like, Splunky than anything else. Um, guess I'll pick that up. You kind of go through this. You get to the end of the level, and then you go to the next level. Yeah, this is one of those try-one-more-time games for sure. It's hot as fuck in here, man. I'm about to take my shirt off like a mofo. Oh, God. Let me turn the air on. It's always so fucking hot up in this bitch. Got my air set at like super high. It's still fucking hot as balls. I I don't know, man. I don't know if I would want to get this on the Switch. 2D games, I don't think, play very well with a stick. But it's fucking dope, man. I'd get it on PS4 because PS4's got a really good D-pad. But yeah, this is one of those try one more time games. Give it another go, games. I got pretty far. I got to the clock tower in this. I don't really know if that's that far, really, but... Got to the clock tower. Clock tower's hard as fuck. So I'm gonna do my best here. It's hot in Ohio, man. It's like almost 90. It ain't... It don't fucking feel like no goddamn October at all, man. This is just bizarre. It's that global warming, man. Those, those fucking liberals are right. We're all gonna fucking die, dude. By next year, it's gonna be surface of the sun temperature on this bitch. Fucking Republican bastards. First Kavanaugh, and now the whole human race. What the fuck? Hey, what's up, Mudahar? What are you up to, man? Rocking this dead cells, brother. Best uh, thirty dollars I ever spent. Um. So, like, this is kind of like Splunky in that you pretty much have one shot to beat the game, but, like, you unlock certain things that help you on your next playthroughs and shit like that. Um, I, I have the ability now to, like, have better starting weapons and shit like that, so... It's still hard as fuck. 
It doesn't matter how many... Oh, I don't want to go to the sewers yet. You can warp around pretty much instantly. So that fucking helps. Oh, shit. Yeah, I... You're getting getting through the new Assassin's Creed. I dude, I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game since Assassin's Creed 2. I used to hang out with this one guy. I used to get every single Assassin's Creed game, and that's all he played was Assassin's Creed and goddamn fucking Forza. And it just got to the point that if I fucking even seen any of those games anymore, I just got sick to my stomach. So I, I haven't played an Assassin's Creed literally since two. I, I watched him play a, a few of the other ones, but. I don't know, I ain't my cup of tea. Although, the like Spartan, I am, you know, 300 type shit that, that it's in that one. Yeah, this game's fucking dope, man. I'm not really all that good at it yet, but I'll give it a shot. But that's this one of those uh, one more run games, and I like that kind of shit. I always bring my sword up first. That's how you level up. You don't really level up by killing enemies, you'll get like money and stuff by killing enemies. But you'll find these little cards, like I just found those little scrolls that uh, increase, like, one of, you know, each item and each weapon has, like, a color. And uh, the good thing about this game is that, like, everything's set on really quick, like, recharge timers and shit like that. I'll just go ahead and just copy Boomstick Gaming's review and just read it word for word in this stream. And then I'll take credit for it because, you know, everybody else seems to be doing that. So, fuck it. Because, of course, this game can't be talked about without talking about that stupid mother motherfucker. Oh, I don't understand that shit at all, man. That don't make a goddamn bit of sense to me. You're going to copy someone's review and you're going to think you're not going to be caught? Like, welcome to the internet, motherfucker. You obviously don't know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> like, really? You think that nobody's going to catch on to that? Especially the person that wrote the goddamn review? That, that just blew my fucking mind. I might go there... I think the Toxic Caves actually has better weaponry in it, but it's a harder part. Yeah, the internet's completely filled, I agree, with people stealing people's shit and all that shit, but you're gonna get caught. I mean, you're trying to make a career. I mean, you get you get brought in and recruited by IGN, which, you know, I'm not a biggest, the biggest IGN fan, but if you're trying to be a games journalist, I mean, that's that's pretty much what you're aiming to be. And then you're gonna you're not even gonna do your job. You're just gonna copy other people's shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Like that's a career. It's not even like a get money quick scheme that you're trying to like, you know, screw people over on. You know what I mean? And get money and get out real quick. No, you're you're gonna get caught. Like you didn't even try. Like then he, then his apology video was just him trying to play the fucking victim, pulling the victim card out, acting like yeah. Yeah, I've, I've heard the uh, people accusing me of plagiarism. Motherfucker, this isn't a, a rape accusation. Okay, this is something that's right, right there in black and white. It's right there. So don't fucking tell me you didn't do it. It's there. You know, you the, the chances of you writing a review that's almost word for word copying somebody else's is so... You have a better chance of winning the lottery three times in a row at the same time and getting hit by light and lightning all at the same time. Yeah, there's a boss in there that grounds power up. Ooh, I gotta go to the Toxic Caves then. Shit, I made a bad choice. That's it. Strike ain't effect for sure, dude. So I gotta get this Health Flask number three. The trilogy. Put some points into that. I'll go to the Toxic Caves next time. I probably won't uh, get very far in this run anyways. I'm not feeling this run because I'm not getting very much good shit right off the bat. Usually in the first level, I'll get at least a better sword. Upgrade to plus quality reforge. Uh, I don't want to upgrade my rusty sword. Fuck that shit. Nah, I ain't wasting no money right now. I always get this because it brings you back if you die. Refill my health. It's ridiculous, dude. The least that guy could have done was be like, you know, you're caught. You come out and you'll be like, alright, I fucked up. Um, you know, it was crunch time, I didn't have a review, I had a lot of stuff going on, I copied the dude's review, it's my bad, I got what I deserved, it is what it is, you know, hopefully maybe in the future you guys can forgive me, right now I'm gonna take a break from the internet, done deal, that's all you had to do, dude, 
Instead, he's trying to fucking play the victim, dude. Like, are you fucking serious? Ain't no fucking way anybody's gonna fucking ever let you near the community anymore, dude. Everything you accomplish is for nothing. Oh, that's pretty good. Throwing knife 2 L. 75. Oh, shit. That's nice. I'll get that. I don't ever really use these too often, though. You can go down. If you get down here quick enough, like, you'll you'll get there before this door fucking closes. What's up, minion? Desert ferret. Muffle case of sugar. Great exposure. Yeah, I missed it by two minutes sitting here talking and shit, though. There's a bunch of, like, sh shit down there. I've made it before. I just wish it wasn't so fucking hot. I don't know how to get up there. I don't know if you get, like, a triple jump or a wall jump or something. I don't even know what the fuck that is. It's just a rose or something. It's always there, though. What is that shit? You guys, you guys have to fill me in on the secrets of this game. I've only played it like once or twice, so I'm not that great at this game yet. But I do love it. Like I said, I was on a fucking spree. I mean, I had awesome weaponry and all this shit. Yeah, everybody wants to be the victim, dude. It's like the race to be the biggest victim nowadays. And it's just like, it used to be, you know, people wanted to be strong. They wanted to be known for being a... Uh, you know, strong-willed and, you know, all this other shit, but not anymore. Everybody wants to fucking be a pussy and be a victim. There was this one guy, I was reading some tweet, he was saying, like, like, white people aren't allowed to kneel during the anthem or something. Like, we're not allowed as a race to do that or some nonsense. This is like, are you guys fucking for real? Like, get the fuck out of here. You're gonna tell us we're not allowed to do something because of the color we are. What the fuck, dude? That's always uh, that's always been something that's always worked. And is always well received by the race that's uh, being told no. Like, give me a fucking break, dude. It's always this feel sorry for me shit because it works. I mean, that's the thing. You know, people do it because it works. Next thing you know, you got a fucking GoFundMe page with a million dollars on it. I mean, so, you know, on one hand, yeah, it's... So that must be the teleporting you guys are talking about. So I'll get that in the Toxic Caves later. So, yeah, next thing you know, you got a million dollars on Go Fucking Fund Me. You know what I mean? So that's what these people are fucking thinking. They want that viral video. They want... I think what I have right now is actually better. Let me see. Uh, shoot two errors. I like this better. It's faster. Uh, oh, that was a good burp right there. Oh, yeah, that's better. The crossbows are usually too fucking slow. Oh, you punk ass. I hate this park because of those fucking statues right there, man. You can't kill them until you kill the statues. Yeah, SJWs don't believe in equality, dude. Don't, don't let the, these liberals fool you that they want equality, they want all this shit. No, they want you to think that the way they think, and if you don't, you're wrong. I mean, that, there is nothing else to it. You know, I remember the days when you used to be able to, like have debates with people, you know, I've had streams and conversations with people and stuff like that, and I remember the good old days when you could do stuff like that, it just doesn't seem like you could do that anymore, because uh, the liberals know that they're getting fucked so hard in the fucking mouth that, you know, they have no, no ground to really stand on anymore, so they just act like little kids and put their fucking fingers in their ears, and they're like, I can't hear you. No, nope, no, nope, la la la. I'm gonna roundhouse kick a woman in the face. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? What is happening? I hardly ever get the purple ones. I usually go with green or red. Ooh, eat a dick. I need a sword, man. I'm not getting any kind of sword. This is gonna be a shitty run. You know, I can always tell the shitty runs when I don't get a fucking sword within the halfway through the, the fucking second level. Shitty. Yeah, you're just accused of being racist and everything else if you have any kind of differing opinion anymore. Like, it's... I'm telling you, man. You know... Uh, these... I hope the liberals and everything... I hope they keep up with this... Oh, finally, a sword. I hope they keep up with this fucking socialism thing, dude. Because it's going to bite them in their ass. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because people know better. You know, don't fucking sit there tell me... That fucking socialism works. Let me let me fly you down to Venezuela and show you how well socialism works, you fucking idiots. It never works. It's never worked in any democracy ever in the history of time. Okay, the only reason these motherfuckers want socialism is because they want to sit around on their fucking asses and collect checks. I got $500?
What? Pounds? That's fucking... What? Hold on. Hold on, let me get my... <laughs> hold on. Let me get my, uh... Let me get my comments up here. Holy crap, who did that? Hold on, let me look. <laughs> That's amazing, guys. Hold on, let me get my... I'm about to piss my pants. Hold on, let me get my thing up here. I got... I can't see the donations. That's... Oh my god, I man. That's awesome. Nice. You just made my week. Hold on, let me get this up. I got it up here. Oh my god, man, that's awesome. <laughs> that's like an echo of oh my god, and I gotta get it up on my YouTube app. That's like 700 US dollars, holy shit. <laughs> holy damn, man. Wanna just help me pay some fucking bills that are long overdue. Hold on, let me get it up here. My phone's slow as balls. Bills that are long overdue. Holy crap, who did that? Let me scroll back up. The Shadow Loaf knows. No particular reason, just wanted to reward your awesomeness. Consider any early wedding gifts. Stay cool. Thanks so much, man. God damn, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> oh my god, man. That's like more money than I ever got from like 2007 up until 2000, what, 16 when I came back on here. I never even got that much money <laughs> on anything. Man, I'm fucking giddy. I'm fucking giddy. I feel good, bitches. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> that just completely threw my thought process off. I can't even think straight. That is so generous, man. That is amazing. Wow. $501 prostitutes? You know, they say quality over quantity, but when it comes to the prostitutes, what's more impressive? One or 500 in one room, bitches? <laughs> Five five hundred and one rundown hotel. Like I won't even spend the money on like a, a, a cheap hotel. I'll just do it in my car. <laughs> Six hundred. That's amazing, dude. That's amazing. <laughs> cool. All right. Hope I got everything down there because my thought process is like completely gone. <laughs> oh shit. Like holy shit, someone came to this motherfucker. Six hundred dollars. That's amazing, man. That's generous as fuck. I. You know, I've, I've always wished I had money to fucking do stuff like that. I mean, there's so many U old school YouTubers on here that have been on here for fucking ever that I would I would totally fucking give that much money to, man. I'd love one day to just jump into a, like a goose stream and just, you know, plop down two, three hundred bucks on that mofo. You know, goose is an OG too. And oh shit. But yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, oh, fucking, uh... But yeah, dude, you know, it's just not, it's not fucking, it's just not right that you just can't even have an opinion anymore, like, it's just not fucking, it's not fucking cool. Like, I don't understand what happened to this fucking country, dude, you know, like, I, if you want to go down to Venezuela and see how fucking good socialism works, where a roll of toilet paper costs like 14 trillion fucking, uh, dick, dicks, dickicks, or whatever the fuck their goddamn fucking currency is, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? When one U.S. dollar equals 45 million of whatever their currency is, then, uh, yeah, their economy don't work. There's, not, there's a problem there. You could literally get the money printed off on actual bills, and it would, it would equal a stack four times higher than one roll of toilet paper in Venezuela. Like, you literally need to take a mortgage out on your house to buy food. Okay, socialism doesn't work, man. These are people, exactly what Mudahar just said. These are people that have never worked a day in their lives, fresh out of college, um, with their degree in uh, cosmetology, uh, or their degree in uh, um, South American uh, social e e e e e equality, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Their, their fucking degree in some fucking dead language that's been dead for 14 million years, but all oh, they can speak it fluently, and then they're wondering why they ain't getting a fucking any job offers. Okay, get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. You got a degree in gibberish. Okay? Meanwhile, this motherfucker went for six months and is now working on cars, making three times more than you. <laughs> <laughs> degree in Uruguay Uruguayan brain dance. <laughs> yeah, I, not even once has socialism ever worked. 
and these motherfuckers, and the only reason is not for anything other than laziness. They just, they, they look at just the basic, they get suckered in to the socialism thing, just like all these other countries do, with the promise that everybody's going to get everybody else's stuff. Oh, why does one person deserve to have 13 yachts and, and $300 million in the bank? Oh, you want to know why? Uh, come here for a second, let me tell you why. Because they earned it, motherfucker! Welcome to capitalism. Okay, there ain't nothing keeping you from going out and making your fucking fortune. Why? Why do you? Why is anybody else, you know, deserve anybody else's fortune? Like, how's that work? I don't. Uh, I don't understand that shit. Upgrade to plus quality re. Let's do that. There we go. Holy shit, that's nice. <coughs> that's all it is, man. The, the, that's what it comes down to. The internet has given these people a voice. You know, and. and you know, people want to base everything on how many likes they get on a fucking Facebook pay, pay, you know, post. You know, they put some fucking batshit insane thing down on fucking Facebook and it gets, you know, it goes viral. And all of a sudden everybody thinks that that's what everybody wants. Not knowing that a lot of times it's just going viral based on how batshit fucking insane it is. But I'm telling you, man, they're sealing the deal for next month. I have not talked to one goddamn person that's voting Democrat. Not one. And I'm not even being biased because I know how I'm going to be voting. But I haven't talked to one fucking person that was not disgusted by this Kavanaugh thing. Even my, my girlfriend doesn't know anything at all about politics. She's a, she, she fucking was sitting here the other night and was just like, man, that Kavanaugh thing is sickening. And I'm like, yeah! Like, how is anybody, anybody going to sit there and back that up? Like, it just it doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Like, fucking holy hell, dude. Okay, like I said a million times over, you know, sexual assault, stuff like that, that's serious shit. Okay? But we don't live in a country... That you can just come out and accuse somebody of anything, and then all of a sudden it's fact. You know, if that if that works, man. If if you know if these Democrats want to work on a mob mentality, you know, it's gonna be. Well, you you guys want the Salem fucking witch trials to uh, come back, okay? You want it to be like Monty Python, the fucking Holy Grail, okay? Oh, if this person weighs the same amount as a fucking goose or whatever, oh, is a witch. Okay, what else happens with wood? Wood floats. If they float, then it's a witch, you know? Oh, it must be official. Like, what the fuck, dude? You know, this, due pro this thing called due process, you know, like, everybody uh, wants to talk shit about it until it fucking comes up, you know, to them. That's why I said I can only hope. I'm not a religious person, but I can only pray that these mofos get accused of something in their lives. And the tables fucking turn on them. Because let me tell you right now, man, that's not the way it fucking works. That's not the way it fucking works. You know what I mean? These, you know, uh, and I've asked, I've asked like liberal guys this shit before. You know, these, these, these liberals, these Libby guys that, um, they want to, they want to do this feminist shit. And every single one I've ever asked this question has, just, has never had an answer for it. I always ask them, I'm like, yeah, you're out there, you know, dressed up in vagina outfits and, you know, like, with your, you know, with slut written all over your stomach and, you know, fake titties on and protesting with all these bitches. How many times, how many times has that ever gotten you motherfuckers laid? How many times? Okay, because I'm going to bet right now, not even once, bitches. Okay? Let me tell you guys a secret right now. Women don't want that. Women would like, love for you cucky-ass mofos to agree with them all day. To try to push their agenda, but they ain't gonna give you no puss off of it. Girls still want guys that are tough. Okay? Don't let them fool you. These liberal bitches that are out here m marching in vagina costumes, they're not fucking liberal guys. They're out fucking the dudes with the fucking trucks that are fucking have monster truck tires on them, okay? And, and the fucking cowboys, they want the fucking motherfuckers that are going to throw them down on the bed head first and pile drive them into the fucking sheets, okay? They don't want a fucking sissy guy. They'll be your fucking, you know, they'll be uh, your, your uh, friend zone fucking friend. But they don't want that, bitches. It's never going to get you anywhere. So you out there marching and doing that shit, it's never going to happen. 
Okay? I've gotten laid quite a bit. Let me tell you guys how it works, okay? <laughs> Bitches want a guy that's gonna fucking just take the pussy. Okay? With their permission, of course. Okay? A bitch is gonna be like, Take me in your fucking destroyer, okay? There ain't no fucking cucky ass bullshit pussy boy I'm gonna fucking do that. That's how it goes, bitches. Some soy boys are thirsty. They think this is gonna get them laid. It's not! Okay, you need to reevaluate your course of action because it's just not gonna work for you guys. I'm six foot one. Yeah, I'm a skinny ass mofo, but word of my big dick got around real quick. Okay, that's all it takes is for you to fuck one girl. Deliver that long dong, and then all of a sudden, all her friends know about it. Okay, you got a chance with all her friends now, guaranteed. <laughs> That's all it takes. It's for you to do one girl. Girls talk about that shit, just like guys talk about it. It comes up on their lunch breaks. Okay, don't act like girls don't talk about that shit. They talk about it. That's all they talk about. Oh, boy. My girlfriend was telling me about that, like, all oh, they were talking about. She has a... Uh, like two friends at her job and they're always talking about sex and all this shit one of her friends is a gay guy or whatever and her one friend her one friend's pretty good looking but they're all sitting around talking about sex i was like oh god that's good oh, everybody knows about my fucking dick size now don't they she's like no i was like yes and she's like okay yeah <laughs> i was like i know how you bitches work i know what's up i'd rather not the, the gay guy know about my dick size but you know whatever <laughs> that's how it works Okay, they don't want no soy boy small dick McGee, okay? That's not that they want. They'll march with you all fucking day, then they'll have you drive them to the march. You know? All day. Oh shit, man, I'm in trouble. Oh, not good, not good. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. I told you guys I wasn't feeling that run anyways. I'd rather go to the toxic caves, try to get that warp thing you guys were talking about. Yeah, and tall, skinny guys usually have big D's. That's where all the extra, like, weight and everything goes. Go straight to the D. Straight to the D. So, uh, so I guess this is where, like, when you get your upgrades, they all go in these glass jars to kind of show you how much you got and shit. I died. I knew it was coming. Oh, see? I got my duplex bow. That's pretty dope. I don't ever get shields. I don't find the shields to be all that useful, really. I wasn't getting very good weaponry or anything like that. It is nice to have something to freeze enemies with. That's definitely always a nice thing. See, now, this could be a good run. It's always I always have hope for runs that begin with immediate upgrades. Because, like I said, it is randomly generated, so you never know what you're going to get. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake? Fuck yeah, dude. Even though Resident Evil 2 has never been, you know, my favorite Resident Evil or anything like that, but I, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I appreciate how violent it looks. It looks fucking sick. Like, it just looks fucking gross. I was like, hell yeah, bitches. I should have used my fucking health potion. I don't know what I was thinking there on that last one, because I was talking, ranting, raving like a lunatic. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Getting double teamed. Yeah, it looks dope. Uh, Capcom is... Uh, I think Capcom... I don't know if they got some... Uh, new people, like, leading the company or something, but they seem to be, like, getting their shit together, which is, that's good. It's a good thing. Some writing, but it's difficult to read. Malaise, they're all affected, not die. I don't know what's going on with the storyline. I don't know if there is a, even a storyline. More of Raccoon City, yeah. It looks good, man. Ugh. I'll be, I know a lot of people are all kind of excited about it coming out. What, is it supposed to come out in January? I'll be honest, I mean, I'll, I'll be very surprised if that actually comes out when it's supposed to come out. I hope it does, but I, I don't know. I think a lot of you guys are with me in that we've learned not to get excited for these release dates anymore. Ooh, Phaser 2. I want that Phaser. It's mine, bitches. Phaser's awesome. You pretty much need the Phaser, like, later on for bosses and shit like that. Get some gold up in my mouth. Mid January is the release date, man. You know, I don't know. It seems kind of quick, man. I remember when they announced a release date sort of similar for Red Dead uh, Redemption 2, and look at where we're at, bitches. 
Still waiting for that motherfucker. So I hope it's good. I hope it comes out, but I'm not holding my breath. Granted, Mega Man 11 didn't get delayed, but the game's not really that in depth. Mega Man 11, I like it, but I'll be honest, like, as much as I'm playing it, I'm playing it a lot. And I don't know if it's gonna remain one of my favorites. It may lower down in the list. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I kind of expected so much out of it, but Blood Sword 1, is that better? Yeah, it causes bleeding. Um... I don't know what I was expecting. I, it was pretty much what I expected, but at the same time, I don't know. I think it could have been a little bit more than what it was. But I still like it. And you guys see me play the whole thing, so I'm, I'm sure you guys all have opinions on it too. But it was certainly better than Mighty Number no. 9, and it was, you know, certainly a good start. I hope the next game. Yeah, I was kind of done with Mega Man. I mean, I, I think I'm going to take a break from Mega Man 11 for a while and see how it sits with me. But, I just don't know, man. I don't know if it's going to be the type of Mega Man that I play over and over again like I have at the other ones. I almost missed this. They're adding DLC for Mega Man 11? That might, that might help. I don't like these slicers. They suck. Man, I'm sweating fucking balls, dude. <laughs> I'm sweating balls. It's like a mixture of, it smells like a mixture of sweat and piss in here, because like I said, I pissed myself when I got that $500, 500 pound donation. <laughs> so it's like sweat and piss. Mm. So it's how it usually smells in here, pretty much. So 172, ooh, I want that. That's better. That's battle. That third hit being critical is always awesome. That's awesome, guys. Man, I cannot get over that. You just fucking made my whole month I was so worried about these fucking bills and like shit that I need to get done man it's tough living on your own man like you know Ani helps but she don't you know she's like she works she's a cashier she don't make all that much money and sometimes it's just like it's rough I can definitely get Red Dead Redemption 2 now if I don't get it uh, uh, donated to me I don't know if I don't know see you later uh, Mudahar thanks for coming in brother <clears throat> Delayed again. That bullshit. Oh shit. Oh god. I hardly ever come to this level, so I might not remember everything there is to remember in it. Health Flask 3 is going to take me two years to get. So, Reforge modifiers, critical hits. Emits a toxic cloud. Let's do that. Fuck yeah. Get the get that. Interested in the Spider-Man game. It looks alright. I don't know. I just don't get into uh, superhero stuff as much as other people do. Have I heard anything from Courtney lately? Yeah, she actually messaged me. It's weird that you fucking mentioned that. It's almost like you're psychic and knew something was brewing with her. No, she messaged me to uh, congratulate uh, uh, me and Ani on the uh, engagement. And, you know, two seconds into talking, you know, like she's wanting to, like, do a threesome with us and all this other shit. And I was just like, you know, she's talking to Ani, too. And, like, Ani's, like, almost, like, talking into it. And I was, I was telling Ani, I was like, I, I'm like, I, I don't know if I could ever do that with her. Because I, I, she's just, I don't want to open that fucking can of worms, man. That's for damn sure. And I'm just not, not that interested. I'm, I'd be just fine. I'm just fine with one girl. You know, I know every guy has that dream. I fucked Courtney plenty of times to where I don't need to fuck her anymore. I'm good. Gross. <laughs> Somebody's like, gross. Hey, Rob. Hey, listen. Hey. If you buy me a carton of smokes, I'll, I'll have a threesome with you. <laughs> but I gotta smoke these smokes first. Halfway through it, Halfway through the threesome, I gotta have a smoke break. So like every two, every two or three humps, I got, I gotta have a smoke. So I gotta like even out the hump to smoke ratio. <laughs> Rob would bang Panda Lee. I don't know what you guys are talking about with Panda Lee. Like I'll be honest, like 
she's not that bad, bitches. Um, we're talking about fucking dark side Phil here. Like, I don't know what you guys expect him to get. I think I think Panda Lee was out of his league. Do you want my complete honest opinion? And uh, I haven't heard too much about the uh, Man Beast or whatever he's with currently, so I don't know if they broke up, but... I don't know. I haven't heard too much of Dark Side Phil lately, of, overall. Oh, shit. Panda Lee is not that bad, bitches. Not that bad. I've seen much worse. I've seen other YouTubers with much worse. For sure. I think DSP has bugged dating mechanics. One of my ex-girlfriends kind of looks like a hotter version of Panda Lee, yeah. If Panda Lee would just, like, fix herself up a little bit... You know, I think the potential's there for at least something. For, like, a drunken fuck, at least. I'd <laughs> Rob De Niro's like, I'd fuck Panda Lee. There you go, brother. Ain't no shame in that. Just because fucking Dark Side Phil fucking fucked her. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> that, that could actually work in your advantage. Because it could only go up from Dark Side Phil. I don't believe for one second he's a good... He's doing any good fucking... You could... Who knows? You could fucking send Panda Lee... Into a fucking coma with with the dick. She probably never had no good dick. <laughs> she stuck around with his fucking annoying ass for how long? You you know something's fucking wrong. She don't know no better. Dark side Phil. Uh, well, yeah. When you don't pay your taxes, uh, you know, I don't really feel sorry for anybody like that. You guys said there's a boss in this level. It's like a little mini boss, right? Uh, let me look at the map here. So I'm going to try to go up. Yeah, I'll try to go up. Like I said, the only thing that's really Metroidvania about this is the map. There's not a lot of, like, backtracking and stuff like that. It's not really set up like that. I was thinking about getting that. There's another Metroidvania on on there, like, wind, wind spinners or... Wind jammers or butthole crammers or I don't know what the fuck it's called, but it looks exactly like Symphony of the Night. It don't even look like it's a fucking tribute. It looks like they literally just took Symphony of the Night and just like crossed off the title with a marker and they're like like wind spinners or you know like I don't give a fuck. I don't know what the fuck they called it. It looks pretty good though. I might have to get that and stream for you guys. Oh god, oh god, not good, not good. Oh no, man. Damn it. So I don't come to this part very often. Fidget spinners. <laughs> no, not Bloodstain. There's a new game out. Uh, uh, Giant Bomb just did like a quick look on it. And I can't remember what the fuck it's called. It literally looks exactly like fucking Symphony of the Night. Like, no joke. Same menu, same everything. Like, it's just insane. One of you guys will get the name of it. Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is on PS4 now. I saw that. I did see that, bitches. Yeah, I know. Symphony of the Night. Symphony of the Night's coming out, too. But Symphony of the Night's pissing everybody off because it's not going to have the original translation on it. The what is a man. I'm all right with that, bitches. It's like a two-second part of the game. It, it doesn't really mean that much to me. Yeah, it's, it's a shame that it's not going to be in the game, but... I just hope that you can make it full screen and, you know, stuff like that. That's, that's more of what I'm worried about than anything else. Because it looks like it's a port from the PSP version of the game, and I think that that one didn't have a lot of display option changes in it, if I remember right. So we'll have to see. The new voice acting is much better. Fuck nostalgia facts. <laughs> It don't bother me, man. It, it's literally like a two-second part of the game that is, you know, it's not good. Like, would Resident Evil be the same if they changed the voice acting in it? Eh, probably not, but I don't think it's to that caliber. It's literally like one line in the whole game. It's certainly not going to make me not want to buy the game. I want that game on my PS4. I've wanted that game on my PS4 forever. Yeah, there must be a wall jumping thing. What's up, guys? Everybody's just now getting in the room. That's badass. Uh, let's do the green one. What is a man? I think that line applies to, to, to today's fucking men more than anything. 
what is a man? A miserable little fucking shit dressed up as a vagina marching in the middle of the fucking street blocking traffic. You know, I always thought it was illegal to stand out in the middle of the highway blocking traffic. Um, guess not, since, you know, cops seem to be letting that happen a lot more. Because I'll tell you right now, if I need to be somewhere and your ass is in the middle of the fucking highway blocking my... and I'm going to be late to work or something, uh, you better get the fuck out of my way because I ain't fucking playing, bitches. I don't give a fuck what you're protesting about. I don't give a fuck, man. Okay? Fuck your rights. Not everybody deserves rights. <laughs> you know, fucking break. Marching for dung beetle rights or some other fucking nonsense. Go, fuck them. Oh, just because dung beetles roll around and shit uh, doesn't, doesn't mean that they're not people. I'm like, no, they aren't people. They're beetles. And they roll around and shit. Fuck them. Okay? I don't give a fuck about the dung beetles. Fucking serious? You're blocking traffic. Get out of my way before I run you over. Give a fuck. Everything needs rights now. Okay? Kiss my ass. Okay, I have a right to go to work and make it on time when I leave an hour early. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and fucking listen to your nonsense. I don't know how to fucking... Would you abandon a friend... Oh, this is that boss down there, isn't it? I don't have any health. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Shit. Well, I guess I can give it a shot. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm roach over dung beetles all day. <laughs> I can give it a shot, bitches, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Let's try it. Oh shit. Oh, I almost got him! Oh, that sucked. Damn it. I almost had him too. Damn it. Yeah. I'll try that again. I can't believe I haven't killed him yet. Wrecked. He had one hit left too. God, I wish it wasn't so fucking hot in my apartment. Ain't no fucking way, man. My thermostat, uh, my thermostat shows 65. It is not 65 in here, man. It's 165. I think it's like missing a number. Bullcorn. I'll get it, bitches. I didn't know that you got like a teleportation thing. Nice. Want to get a power up here. Oh, shit. Like I said, man, it all just comes down to lazy people. It, it all just is lazy people. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I don't have time to fucking protest all fucking day. Okay? I got shit I gotta fucking do. You know? Like, it's the same people out there protesting every time about everything. You know, protests used to mean something. When somebody would protest about something, it was for a cause. It was for something that was memorable. And people would remember the protests. I sort of got ever since this Occupy Wall Street, man, it's been a fucking goddamn protest every hour on the hour. Okay? You can't protest about fucking everything. Even South Park was making fun of the Occupy Wall Street shit. I remember they did that uh, Occupy Red Robin or whatever. That was hilarious. Yeah, I'm at uh, Occupy Red Robin. Yeah, I'm talking to them. What do you think about Occupy Red Robin? Well, they, uh, they got good food. They got, uh... Uh, in, endless fries. In, endless fries. You know what I mean? Like, even South Park would make fun of that shit back then, you know? Now it's, like, constant, and South Park's one of the cucks. You know? Like, you can't even... Like, South Park's fucking doing it anymore. Don't buy these liberal types, man. These, uh, Hollywood types that want to fucking come out and be like... Oh, I believe in this. What the fuck? Who cares what a Hollywood motherfucker thinks? They play pretend on TV. You what? Why does anybody care what they think? South Park is great. I'm not saying South Park's not great, but South Park um, has done their fair share of fucking bullshit too. Endless fries. Endless fries. You know they're they they'll make fun of they they were making fun of Trump so fucking much it got to the point that they had to just like okay we got to stop. And then they kind of just like, no, we got to stop this shit. 
Oh shit, oh shit. Hollywood, what does Hollywood ha types know anything about anything? Okay, you're gonna talk talk to me about white privilege when you live in gated communities? You're gonna talk to me about white privilege when you have motherfucking bodyguards and entire entourage following you around at all fucking times? You don't know nothing about... Are you fucking talking about... You don't know nothing about privilege when that's your daily thing? Like, fuck you. Give me a fucking break, motherfucker. I work hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. Alright, let's... Oh, I mean, I, I, I should have looked better. I probably would have got a sword. Oh, well. Alright, let's go kill this boss, bitches. Norm Macdonald. Like I said, man, when it comes to comedians, Norm Macdonald is just the funniest motherfucker, dude. Norm Macdonald is the type of comedian that even other comedians like as their favorite comedian. You know what I mean? Like, that's how funny... Oh, man, I missed it by 10 seconds. Kiss my ass. Damn it. I like how they put those in. Like, if you want to speed run the game, they put those, those types of rooms in. So it gives you... Uh, all the power-ups and stuff to where you don't got to grind. Norm Macdonald is funnier than shit, man. It's like an honor to be... It's an honor to be made fun of by Norm Macdonald, for sure. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked in the sewer part. Damn it. Oh, I already used the fucking health potion. Bill Burr's pretty funny. Oh shit, I gotta get that. Norm MacDonald, I don't feel, gets the respect that he deserves. You know, he's never really had a lot of good movie roles given to him and, you know, stuff like that. Although I do like Dirty, dirty Work quite a bit. Dirty Work is hilarious, man. You know, for the longest time, I did not know Bob Saget directed that movie. I guess back when I watched it when I was a kid, I didn't really care about that kind of stuff. But, yeah, Bob Saget directed it. Ooh, man, my fucking slam technique's getting pretty fucking ballsy here. Oh, shit, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm stunned. I need a sword, man. I cannot wait until this weather starts getting cool, man. What in the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, it's October, and it's... Uh, motherfuckers are out getting sunburns in October. What the fuck? It should be blanket weather by now. God damn. My favorite fucking... It's, it's like a fourth of the way through fucking October, and it's still hot as balls. It's not fair, bitches. Mother Nature's being a bitch this year. Oh, I'm screwed on this run, bitches. Oh, no. Those exploding guys can eat a fucking fat sack of dicks. I'll for make a scene. That's comedy right there. Yeah, I like that video when uh, when he bitched about that current events topic. And when he was like, he's like, I'm sticking up for the fans. And, uh, How dare you delay it even though you'll never see my video and it doesn't mean anything. And it'll be instantly forgotten as soon as I make this video. How dare you. Bullshit. Okay, guys. Donate to my Patreon. All right, guys. I'm going to have a fucking 10 month delay on my videos and disappear and only uh, do videos for my Patreon people. Like, are you fucking serious, dude? Like, how is he not getting a ton of shit for that? Yeah, how is Alpha Omega Sin Im uh, you know, immune to a lot of this shit, man? And, like, this motherfucker doesn't even give a goodbye video or anything. He doesn't even really give a video explaining as like what the fuck he's even doing 
with his videos. He just uh, fucking vanishes. And everybody doesn't know where, he at, where he's even at for fucking like an entire year. Then he pops up in the occasional stream, and then it comes to find out you're, you gotta fucking go to Patreon to fucking watch his boring ass anymore. That's horseshit. No good weapons, bitches. I might be in trouble here. I do got an ice grenade, though. Alright, well, I'll give it a shot. Game face. Game face. Game face. Give me my ice grenade. Give it to me. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch bastard. Gotcha, bitch. Eat a duck. Fuck yeah. That's all I wanted to do was get that fucking thing. <laughs> Teleportation rune. This permanent rune lets you use those monolith things. Sweet. So I can what? 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 That's dope. Do I ever regret contacting Alpha? I don't ever regret things that were once good that, you know took a turn for the worse, you know what I mean, I guess you could say. At one point it was good, so I mean, it is what it is. I, I, I live life for the good times, and it was good at one point, and then it turns bad. You know, I can't do anything about that, it is what it is. I only regret things that were just bad right off the bat. Did you get it? Did you get the good stuff? Give it to me? Oh shit, he's pissed. <laughs> he needs a fix real bad. Oh, he gave him the finger? <laughs> he gave him the finger. That's awesome. Did you get it? Did you get the stuff? Give me a hit, man. I need it real bad. Hopefully the end of the level's coming up, man, because I am in dire straits here. There it is. Courtney's in that cell. Did you get the six? Hey, Rob. Come over this... Come over to my cell real quick. Listen. Listen, I've been... I've been grinding up cockroaches and rolling them up in toilet paper. I need a cigarette pretty bad. <laughs> These don't really taste too much different than what I used to smoke, but... They just don't got any take nicotine in them, really. You know what I'm saying? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> oh, actually, they taste better than what I used to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll give you some hooch. I'll give you some uh, uh, jail cell hooch. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to modify my rusty sword. Fuck that noise. Okay, you can reset the mutations. Oh, you, how do you reset them? Oh, what the fuck? 3% after... Yeah, let's do that. This door's locked, what? Motherfucker, please. How's it locked? Courtney's smoking them dirt cigs, man. Wait a second here. Am I missing something? Got to get another mutation. Oh, I got to get two of them? Oh, I see. Okay, cool. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, damn. All right. Let's do this, bitches. I was wondering what those fucking stupid statues did. The ramparts. I don't think that this part's all that hard. I think that those fucking sewers are harder than this this ramparts part. Ramparts part. Alright, let me crack a let me crack a bottle. 
Crack a bottle, get your body bottle, throw the dick in your mouth, smoking on the ciggy. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, I should probably quit drinking constant energy drinks before my heart gives out. I have pretty much daily strokes now, so probably not good. Daily strizzies. If I don't have like, if I don't start off my day with like an intravenous energy drink drip, then I, I just can't. I can't do it, man. Can't go on. I'm sipping on a NOS. I like NOS better than Red Bull, to be honest. It's cheaper, and I think it tastes better. Eat a dick! Game chasers. Dude, I don't respect the game chasers, because I can tell that shit. There ain't no way that the, all that shit is... None of that shit's set up, dude. I can't say for sure, but I just, I just har have a hard time believing... I'm gonna get two ice grenades. Fuck it, man. I don't like that wolf trap anyways. Energy drinks are garbage. I'm not disagreeing with you. <laughs> but I need that caffeine, man. I need it bad. And I don't like coffee that much. I don't know what it is about coffee, man. It makes me shit. Too much. I mean, I, man, I, I drink coffee and I, I take a shit and then afterwards I take another shit. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is bad. This is bad. I'm waiting for my grenades to come back. Eat a dick. Eat a dick. Oh, see, when you kill those elites, you get like necklaces and stuff. Yeah, see? I got a Topaz Amulet 5 downward smash. Uh, collects gold over a limited distance. Sweet. I feel like those uh, elites don't really come often enough, though. I've gone entire runs without any elites. Coffee? Yeah, coffee, man, it just makes me want to, like, shit my pants. Like, I, I, my, my stomach, like, can't, doesn't do well with coffee. I think it's the uh, dairy in it. Like, because a lot of times you'll get coffee and, like, you know, I'll put a little bit of milk in it. Or when you get the coffee things at, like, the gas stations and stuff, they'll automatically have, like cream in them and all this stuff and I just don't do well with dairy and I don't really like black coffee that much I, mean, I used to but I've kind of lost my taste for it over the years I really think it's the dairy that really just gets my gets my bowels screaming I don't do well with dairy bitches I don't do well I don't like ice cream like I don't I don't, I don't do that shit my brother loves that ice cream shit but it's just never been my cup of tea Oh shit. Man, I can't get over that donation, man. That is just, you cannot even imagine how happy that makes me. I literally about pissed myself. That is so generous, man. God. Because I know that's what I would do, man. Like, if I had money like that, like, if I had money to where I could afford to make people happy, man, I'd love nothing else than to do that with the people, man. Because I love giving people gifts. And I love doing that stuff for people even more than getting gifts. And stuff like that. Just, you know, makes me feel even better. And it's just like, man, that's fucking awesome, dude. I can't... Thanks a lot, dude. Man, I appreciate it, bro. Take care. Take care of the Shadow Loaf. That's awesome, bro. Yeah. Man, that's awesome. Because, you, know, like, 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 you know, like I said, I don't, I don't do these streams for money. I do them to have fun. And the money is just a complete bonus. And it just helps me out immensely. Awesome sauce. Yeah, see what I mean? I don't think the ramparts part is nearly as hard as the fuck. So I think the difficulty curve's a little strange in this. Oh, man. Those shield guys are fucking... Ain't no joke, though. Oh, shit. The combat in this is super fun. Like, I, I literally thought, uh... Um, I, I, I didn't think I was going to like the combat, because I don't really like, like, side-scrolling hack-and-slash type shit. Um, because I didn't really like, sh uh, uh, what is that, uh, Salt and Sanctuary. I didn't really like that, because I just didn't, I didn't feel, I wasn't feeling the combat. 
I just don't think that the Dark Souls thing works on like a 2D plane. You gotta have that 3D movement in order for that to work, in my opinion. Oh man, I was hoping. You gotta be careful with this part because you'll fall off into an endless fucking pit. It fucking sucks. I haven't done it yet, but I almost did once. All right. Oh, got them both. See, the the best thing you can get in these games is 100% uh, freezing them. Like, if you can freeze the guys, man, you got it made. If you ain't got nothing to freeze motherfuckers with, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, shit, get up there. Because there's bosses that if you can't freeze them, I feel sorry for you. Because I beat one, like, main boss already, and he was no joke. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Sometimes you'll go down in these fucking pits, man, and there ain't a fucking thing, and it just wastes your time. Yep, that's the boss right there. That's the boss right there. Um, I don't got a good sword for this, though. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm gonna see if I can't get a different sword. Yeah. Yeah, boss killer for the, for the freezing especially, Wayne. You gotta have the freezing. So if you get a run and everything is going good, but you don't have a freeze item, like, ah, it's, it's rough. I don't think that the purple thing is all that fucking useful. I'm gonna look for a weapon. If I can't find one, then we'll go fight the boss, but I'm not having too much hope here. Alright, let's see. This is like the last chance. Oh, please, please, please. Oh. Uh, I don't know if I should get the phaser. I guess like... I don't know. I kind of have... Well, I kind of like having two ice grenades. What do you think, Wayne? You think one ice grenade is sufficient? Or do you think I gotta get the phaser? That is a phaser four. Or you think I gotta keep the two ice grenades? I don't know, man. See a muffin cakes? I'll probably have to take a... I'm probably gonna fight this boss and take a break, guys, because I gotta get in the shower and I gotta eat real quick. But I'll probably stream later. I don't gotta pick... Ani up until midnight, so I'll probably stream again, but I have to do a few things and shit like that, but I'll be back on. What do you got what do you think? What do you guys think? Get the phaser with one ice grenade or have two ice grenades? I don't know, bitches. That phaser's fucking good. I'll get the phaser. I don't need two ice grenades. So, I'll, I'll replace the ice grenade, too. Keep the grenades and use the hammer. Uh, phaser is... Phaser gets that fucking... Uh, that bonus attack for hitting them in the back, though. I still ain't got a decent sword, man. What's up with these... Worthless runes? Rob has a girl waiting in the shower. No, I just stink, mofos. Like I said, it's fucking hot as balls. Oh, shit. I don't know how useful those uh, teleportation things are. I mean, I guess they are. They'll get me to stuff I can't get to. Otherwise. Yeah, see how fucking awesome that phaser is? They're especially good with these fucking sword guys. Those shield guys. Boo, yeah. I think what makes this game so good is just how fluid it is. Like, everything just flows so good. 
I love crashing through the doors and like stunning them too. Um, I think enemy variety. Oh no! Oh, okay, that doesn't kill you. Thank God. That's the first time I fell into one of those holes. I didn't know if it killed you or not. I was like, fuck. That was that would have been shitty. I was gonna say that's not at all fair. Damn, that almost sucked. There's a sandal down there. I don't think that that's all that useful, though. No, you gotta... Ah, uh, fuck the sandal. You can, like, kick them or something, but the, the hammer I got is more useful than that. I think this might be my last chance to get a sword down here. How do you open these? Does anybody know how to... How do you open these, Wayne? Is it... Is it the hammer? How the fuck do you get like a special weapon later on to open these passages? Because I can't figure this out. Like they turn red. But I can't fucking open them. I don't know what's up with that. That's goofy. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, nice. Nice! Select plus R1? What? There's no select. Oh shit. Oh god. It's the PS4 controller. They don't got select. They've done away with it. Bloodthirsty shield. That's probably another boss. I got it. Oh, it's a power up. I can't think of him either. I thought so. Yeah, I was showing Ani the uh, Phantasm movies last night, man. I went to Best Buy, which I, you know, I usually go to Best Buy. And they don't usually have any... Oh, shit. They don't usually have anything. I usually leave Best Buy with nothing. Because Best Buy usually sucks. But I was bored yesterday. We went to Best Buy. And they had Phantasm 3 and 4 finally on Blu-ray. Man, these movies have, like, never fucking been on Blu-ray. The only time they were ever on Blu-ray was in a fucking box set that, you know, cost a million fucking trillion dollars. Because for some reason, I don't know what it is about Phantasm box sets and Phantasm Blu-ray releases, but, like, they, were, they, were, they don't make very many of them or something, but they end up being super goddamn expensive after a while. So, Ani had never seen the Phantasm movies, and I was like, man, we gotta watch these. So we marathoned one through three last night. She wanted to watch four, but I'm like, babe, I'm like, you've already seen the best. <laughs> That's as good as it gets, my love. Uh, four and five is pretty bad, but we'll watch four later tonight probably. I love, I absolutely adore uh, Phantasm one, two, and three, especially two. Phantasm two is my jammy jam. Rob is good and wise. I try to be, guys. All right, let's do. I, there's no fucking sword, guys. So I'm gonna have to fight this boss without a good sword. Phantasm. It's P H A N T A S S N. They're like. Yeah, it's sad that he died after five, man. The tall man did. Those are great movies, guys. If, if you like, like, you know, uh, Evil Dead and and stuff like that, you know, you guys want, like, a really fun horror movie. Like, especially the second one. The second one's got a lot of Evil Dead 2 vibes in it. Like, action comedy horror. Um, it's really fucking cool. So, if you guys want some good shit, man, watch the Phantasm movies. Especially the first three. The only problem I have with those movies, they always gotta end on a fucking cliffhanger all the fucking time. So, you pretty much have to watch them, like, one right after the other, unless you wanna be, be driven fucking crazy. So, I guess we can unlock this lightning bolt, or this broadsword. New item unlocked. Get this lightning bolt, too. Uh, it's probably not that... Oh, God! All right. I was, gonna, I was thinking it wasn't going to be that good, but I was wrong. Ooh! Very nice. Upgrade to plus quality, reforge. 50% damage when you're at max HP. 100% damage inflicted on enemies. Plus 100% damage taken? Oh, so what... So how's that... How's that... 
work? So the damage is, so if I get hit, it brings down massive damage. Is that what it is? Shoots an arrow upward. Game changer. Forge that shit. Do I want this modifier though? Plus 100 damage inflicted on enemies, but it's also plus 100 damage taken. I don't want that. Get my fucking ass smoked in like two seconds. And by this boss. So I use the other modifier? Damage received is doubled? Fuck that. Let's do that. Forge it. Damage you receive is doubled. I don't want double damage. Generates a shield when used. Ooh, very nice. Oh, that's our. Oh, I, I, the victim's remains explode. The victim remains explode. Enemies hit by this will fall more slowly. Let's do that. Don't do it. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want the damage to be doubled. <laughs> that's insane. I was wondering why I was getting killed so fucking quick sometimes. That's why. So let's do. Uh, let's do plus 30%. We good. The health here. Yeah, double damage? I was wondering. See, I didn't read that close enough last time. <laughs> I know, Akamash, man. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Akamash just came in and was like, Who's donating 500 pounds? What the fuck? It's amazing, dude. That just made my fucking month. It's amazing. Some really generous fans, man. All right, so let me get my controls down here. So I got my... All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh no. Oh, I hate that guy. Oh shit. I didn't mean I didn't mean to do the fucking the ice grenade. I mean, yeah, that, that West Sword fucking rules. Oh, I hate when they knock you out like that. Oh shit. Man, my fucking uh, ice grenade fucking rules fucking ass now. You gotta be careful, man, because this guy gets tough. I got my game face strapped. Oh, man, I forgot about that move. Ice grenade is OP. Oh no, I forgot. Oh no. This guy has a shitload of attacks. Eat a dick. Oh, God. Oh, man, you gotta time that, like, exact. Because it slows them down, too. The ice grenade does. Oh, no. He gets super fast, man. Super fucking.
fucking fast. Stupid fast. I'm just gonna wait on the ice grenade. I'm gonna play it safe because I don't got any more healing. I say as I hit him. Gotcha, bitch! Eat a dick, collect these gold teeth. Rip your gold teeth out. Ooh, balance blade three. Ooh, I don't, is that, ooh. Is that better than what I got? Oh no, that's 100% damage taken though. See, I'm reading that now, fuck that noise. That's a fucking strong ass fucking sword though, isn't it? Holy shit. Maybe if I can change the modifier on it. Is that better? I don't know. Let me get these fucking jewels. Damn, that seems like it's better, isn't it? Take it, it's awesome, just forge it, okay. And I'll replace it with the Nutcracker. Fuck it. It's alright. Fuck the juice. Holy shit. You're, you're in London waiting for a cab watching you? That's awesome, dude. <laughs> My reach. It reaches far across the earth. Reforge the modifiers on this. Colorless. 1% of HP recovered per attack. Plus 100. No, I don't want that plus 100% damage taken shit. That's something that doesn't go away, I don't think. Zero percent of Iowa movement. Yeah, I gotta like not get hit now though, that's the thing. Holy cow. Uh, let's do... Oh, I don't have any cells left. I got an achievement for something. Oh, I didn't reset that one? Oh, that's bullcorn. So I get three of them. Oh, you only get that one once because it's so OP. That's awesome. There's Stilt Village, and I don't know what this... This must be another way when I get that wall jump. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to call it for now, because like I said, i got to go do some stuff. But awesome stream, guys. Appreciate you guys chilling with me. I'll just pause it here, so I'll come back to it. I'll probably come back to it later. Depends on how I feel, but... All right, guys. You guys take care, and I'll see you guys next time. Slut Village, yeah. <laughs> see you guys. Oh, oh, oh,